Hi, coming up on the show, we have Jake McRae and the What Went Wrongs and Rich Stevenson. Also tonight, we have the latest music news and much more. So stay with us and we'll be back just after this. And welcome to Key Sessions, a programme that showcases the best upcoming music acts in the Northwest. I'm Francesca Scottrick Boyd. Up first, we have a band that describe themselves as having raw and energetic sound. This is Jake McRae and the What Went Wrongs. <laughs> That was Jake McRae and the What Went Wrongs with No Socialite. Now, earlier this week, we visited Sophie King, who's attending a live music event every night of this November. Hello, I'm Sophie and it's November the 1st and I've decided to go and see live music every single day this month, which I'm really excited about. Tonight, I'm going to see an artist called Zola Jesus. Manchester!
I've just been thinking about this whole month and how lucky I've been to be able to see such a range of music. And don't get me wrong, I'm feeling tired, and but I'm surprised I'm not more tired. This weekend I spent with my mum and we went to go see Shalimar, and then some jazz at Albert Schloss on Sunday. And that really gave me a boost of energy. And I think it's amazing how people and music can give you that boost. You can be in the worst mood. You can be tired, you can be grouchy, and you can be all those things. And then spend some time with a friend or a family member or around music and it completely can completely change your mood. And I've just completed 30 days of live music and it's been one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. It's been so nice to experience loads of different types of new music from acoustic artists just starting out playing on the streets, busking for money, to arena performances like Kasabian. If you have a month in your in your life that you can squeeze it in and save up some money, it's it's a really worthwhile opportunity. It really opens your eyes and ears to new to new music and new ideas and I've loved every second of it. Up next, we invite our very own Rich Stevenson to play for us with his original track that landed in the top 10 on the iTunes singer-songwriter chart, Here's Secret. Say there's no way this is suicide. If we get caught, we can go outside. If it's not eventful, then don't be resentful. Play me out like a fantasy. Repeat me over like a wet dream now. Always be grateful and never be wasteful. I'm just a dirty little secret and you just want to keep me down I'm just a dirty little secret and you just want to keep me down I'm that moment that you'll never know Come on, wind me up and watch me go I can be graceful, but it's not intentional. I'm just a dirty little secret, and you just want to keep me down. I'm just a dirty little secret, and you just want to keep me down. Well, my body explodes, and my heart goes to my That was Rich Stevenson with Secret. We'll be sitting down with him in just a moment. But first up, here's the music news with Zara.
Hello and welcome to this week's music news. I'm Zara Connolly. If you missed the Brits at O2 Arena, here's what happened. Dua Lipa was nominated for five of the awards and won two. She also won the award for the cutest moment of the night when she took her little brother and sister on stage with her. Ed Sheeran was also presented the Global Success Award by Rolling Stones legend Ronnie Wood. But the biggest award was given to Stormzy, who beat Ed Sheeran and Dua Lipa to get the Mastercard British Album of the Year, The Gang Signs and Prayer. In the final performance of the night, he decided to do a freestyle on Grenfell, which didn't go down well with the government, but what's in the water ceremony without a little bit of controversy, eh? One of the most iconic guitar companies in music history, Gibson, are reportedly facing bankruptcy. The Nashville-based company recently saw the departure of its chief financial officer, Bill Lawrence, just six months before $375 million of senior secured notes will mature as well as another $145 million in bank loans will come due immediately if those notes issued in 2013 are not refinanced by July 23rd. And now for the latest on local Manchester gigs. Imagine Dragons are at Manchester Arena on Saturday the 3rd of March. Jake Bug plays the Albert Hall on Monday the 5th of March. Tonight Alive visit Manchester's O2 Ritz on Tuesday the 6th of March. Paloma Faith is at Manchester Arena on Thursday the 8th of March. And Everything Everything play the O2 Apollo on Friday 9th of March. That's all from me. Goodbye. Hi, Rich. Thank you very much for playing. My How's pleasure. It going? Yeah, good. I'm glad to see you've got matching yeah, colours. You've got, you got the memo. Matching blues, yeah. Excellent. We've, uh, we've got it together this time. <laughs> good. But, um, yeah, so, secrets. Yes. What is that about? I'm intrigued. Yeah, I, I, so the way I work, I haven't got a definite answer for you, but I've got a notebook full of loads of different lyrics and I do a bit of a copy and paste job and see yeah. what works and it becomes something completely new. Get the Pritt stick out and go, better we on it. Absolutely, yeah, and it, it's, it's become a bit of a kind of dark song. I think originally it was kind of a bit more jaunty, but yeah, it's become something quite Maybe dark. Keyboard still is a bit of light, lightness. Like yeah, that. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Um, so Secrets got into the top ten of the iTunes singer-songwriter list. Did, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So how, what was your uh, first thought on that? I was really excited? well excited, yeah, because yeah. I'd done a tour, I'd done a tour of So Far Sound gigs, which are secret house gigs, yeah. about a month on and off, kind of here, there, everywhere, all over the country. And then at the end of that, it was the launch day, and I just checked my phone and it was number 10. Yeah. I was like, yes, come on! Um, but yeah, and, it's, and since then it's had about 20,000 listens on Spotify. Oh, it's like amazing. going up as it goes, I can't believe yeah, it. Yeah, buzzing. Like. Yeah, it's so buzzing. Where was your favourite um, sofa of the sofa? Where was my favourite sofa? Yeah. There's, there, well, there's two. I did um, Leeds, was a 12th floor flat in the centre of town, oh, wow. looking out over the city. I'd like one of those. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I also did um, the Waterstones in Bradford, which sounds yeah. a bit boring, but it's actually the old wool exchange and it looked like Hogwarts. Oh, wow. It's a amazing. massive, like, vaulted ceilings, all these amazing paintings. Yeah. It Bradford's was so lovely. They've got the Media Museum there as well. Yeah, there. Really yeah. Nice. I unfortunately, I didn't go. But yeah, it was... Next time. Yeah, <laughs> next time. There's always a next time. There's always a next time. But yeah, I'm going to hope... I'm, well, I am going on another so far tour in June. Yeah. I'm going to go, like, east to west, going Hull, Leeds, Manchester, yeah. Liverpool, and doing Cardiff, Bristol, Bath, and then Southampton, Winchester. Yeah. Nottingham. Then. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's over a few yeah, weeks, busy, so we're going to have a bit yeah. of time <laughs> off in between. But yeah, and I'm... Heading into the studio in March, okay. so by summertime I'll have some more material. Yeah. And hopefully we're getting the charts again. Yeah, be going again. Just keep going. Yeah. Go back every time. It's <laughs> like, look, we want to go. We want to go even higher this time. <laughs> up, up, Number up. nine, please. Yeah. <laughs> but have you? Um, have any of the sofa sofa sound things turned into like little parties? Because obviously, bring it in. No, the they, all of them I've done have been like. Going home now. I did yeah. go to the Manchester one as a punter last night and yeah. it looked like it was going to kick off into a party, but yeah. sadly I had to you come here. Like, so I was like, sorry guys, sorry. I've, got a, I've got a gig tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> And even then, I've still nearly lost my voice while singing today. So No skins Should parties then? Oh God, yeah, yeah. skins parties. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. So do you, um, you did some music for skins, for yeah. skins. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was that like? Did you enjoy it? It was really good fun. Now that, that happened, I was one of the drivers yeah. for the, the filming and oh. I just gave the CD to one of the directors. And Sneak. thinking, did you put it in his car? The weird thing was, I gave it to him, and I was like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And then yeah. one day I picked him up to go to set, and he was like, I'll tell you what we're going to listen to, and just put me in. And I was like, oh, God, what was he going to yeah. think? And he's like, oh, this is cool, like, let's chat. And yeah. just went from there. Was it a bit of one of those things that, you know, when you hear your voice on, like, the, um, on your home phone or something like that, like the recording, and just like, oh, oh we sat together whilst we're listening, like, driving. Yeah, there was just no or escape. Or like, I don't mind playing gigs to, like, hundreds of people, yeah. but, like, a one on one with quite a well known. TV director, I was like, oh yeah. my God, pressure's on. But yeah, he loved it. So I'm really grateful, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to do 
another um, soundtrack. Mm. So another another song for another film. What film would you want to do it for? Right, my favourite film is Yellow Submarine, the Beatles' Yellow Submarine. But that's yeah. Beatles songs, so I don't know if I'd be invited to that party. Okay. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, I'd either. probably say the film Juno. I'm quite a fan of the film Juno. It's a bit more lo-fi, and I think I'd probably fit quite well in that. So yeah. yes, that film, Juno. Okay, brilliant. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. And wish you the best in the studio and for the Sofa Sounds um, tour of all over the days. Thank you, yeah. And I hope you've got enough petrol in your tank for it, because it sounds like it's going to be busy. I hope so. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. Cheers. Now it's back to Jake McRae and the What Went Wrongs for the final performance of the evening. Here's Failing You. Thanks to Jake McRae and the What Went Wrongs, as well as Rich Stevenson for performing on today's show. If you want to catch more, you can find unseen performances and interviews on Key's YouTube page. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Keep an eye out for the next episode where we'll have two more bands performing on Key's sessions. Thanks for watching. See you next time.